we look so old now. Oh man, great. Jeez. Jeez. So fucking stupid. Hey! Welcome back to Stupid Movies. Where we watch them so you don't have to. And this week we watched Mildew from Planet... Zonander? Zonander. Zanander? Zanander. 2015. 80 minutes. Yeah, but it felt longer. <laughs> it did feel longer. It felt a lot longer. Yeah. Uh, it was released by Widowmaker and Necrostorm. Indeed. Um, Rated R. So apparently, this also goes by Mold. Right, so we were super confused by this because, you know, stupid. Um, but apparently this film was released in 2012. Apparently. As Mold, and then they recut it and re-released it in 2015 with some some scenes missing and some scenes added and everything changed order and re-released it as Mildew from Planet something. <laughs> Planet something. <laughs> That's about right. Yeah, yeah, it's like the same movie, but a whole different cut. It was just really weird. Um, Very strange. We went and tried to rewatch the other one, too, and like three quarters of the scenes are the same, but yeah. different? Dif way different. Uh, Don't know what that was about. There's a lab creating mildew. Mildew <laughs> as a weapon. Or mold. Or mold. Depending on which version you saw. Yeah. Same difference, right? <laughs> I don't know. But it was for, what, a weapon or something? And there was, like, a colonel dude. And, uh, yeah, there wasn't much of a story. They were making this weapon, I think, for Ronald Reagan? <laughs> <laughs> I think so. Well, yeah, so it <coughs> takes place in 1984, I think. Is that what it was supposed to be, 84? I think so. Okay. So it had that 80s vibe. It was definitely uh, an 80s throwback, man. I felt like I was... Back under the Reagan administration again, getting ready to watch yeah. Elf. <laughs> I felt like I was two. <laughs> like, you know, two. <laughs> in 84, I would have been two. Right, right, we would have right. been two. Um, and with that, the soundtrack was oh. a total 80s. It's right from the beginning of the movie. It was dun 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 all the way dun, dun. through. Um, I don't think there was any point where the soundtrack cut out. No, the score was consistent but from start to finish. It did constantly change, but kind of kept that same dun 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 right. dun through the whole thing. Right. I like that. Yeah, that I, I thought huge, that was really great. Huge plus. Reminded me of the thing a little bit. Yes. Dun 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 dun. Um, actually, talking of the thing, the gore in it was yes. just fucking phenomenal. The whole movie felt like really moist. sticky <laughs> and damp and moist. Yeah, um, everything was wet. Uh, there were so many bodily fluids. Oh yeah, the red and green. It looked like Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> it was like a, a very bad Christmas. <laughs> That it was, was gross. Cool. It, it was all, it, it was seriously good. gross. I want to take a shower. Yeah, we can go shower together. I like, mean, maybe uh, not. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> you know. Uh, yeah, no, it was, it was gross. Had that gross out factor. Right. Practical effects, I, for the most part. A little bit of CG in there. Yeah, the the CG when it was there was noticeable. Yeah, and and not good. They could have <laughs> done without it. Right. Really, it didn't right. need it. Most of it was like the exterior shots. Did you notice? Yep. Um, and the, the blowing up the building. Right. But the gore overall. Oh, yeah, practical. it was really good. Uh, it almost reminded me of Claymation some. Some of it, yeah, yeah. And some of the, the like, the zombie faces, it looked like they took a Halloween mask, like those rubber masks, <laughs> yep, and stuck and their hand up in it, and then just kind of crumpled yeah, it backwards. Yeah. That was cool. It was cool. I liked it. And the hair, I don't quite <laughs> no understand. Look. The hair, there's hair. If you watch it, you'll know what we mean. I don't... There were some sort of army creatures? things something like he was trying to create his own military force and they were all like picture the little girl from the <laughs> ring with the yes. long black hair coming down Perfect. the front and, and that was them that was that yeah i don't know I, why i don't i don't either i don't know what the hell is going on half the time but <laughs> it was fun so what do you think of the the speed of the movie because it was 80 minutes long right so it was, yeah which isn't long now i thought the pacing was good right but at the same time the movie felt long. <laughs> I think part of it was there were no like quiet downtime scenes. Every scene yeah. was like boom, boom, the boom, climax boom. of a movie. Like, oh my god, something's happening, and it's like, no, slow down, man. Which normally isn't a dislike. Right. Right. <laughs> like, so the score kept going, everything kept happening. People were melting or 
exploding. Exploding <laughs> with crap. <laughs> yes, and there's some uh, some good humor in it. Oh. The silly, childish, horny <laughs> humor. Quit acting like a vagina. That so, one female, no nudity in this at all. And I didn't really notice it until no. now. <laughs> exactly. It was one of those that it didn't call for it. Really. No, I didn't I mean, need it. I, yeah, I don't want to see any naked dudes. Well, and there was a dude pissing at the beginning, and it looked like he was peeing coffee. And if your pee looks like coffee... You need to get that checked. It's probably not good. No. The acting is kind of hard to judge. Yes. Because this is a problem with 80s throwback movies is was it an issue with the acting or were they intentionally acting bad? And I couldn't tell. I, me either. Uh, I'm just going to say that probably wasn't that good. Yeah. How can I have you? Otherwise, yeah. I don't really have any complaints. I thought it no. was a pretty good movie, and I'll watch it again. Yeah, it, it was a fun movie. You know what you're getting into. It's not a cinematic masterpiece. No, it Reminded no. me of Troma. If you like Troma movies, right. you're, you might get a kick out of this. Right. Uh, you know, good atmosphere, good pace, depending how you look at it. Single location for the most part, right. too, which usually That's I'm not that. a big fan of, but it, it kind of worked here. They, they managed that well, especially for the budget, right. which looked good. For the budget. Yeah. And and I'm still thinking, oh, can you imagine cleaning that place up after they were done shooting? There was it's like goop everywhere. Like mopping all day long in a porn yeah. shop. <laughs> <laughs> but overall, I'm going to give it a 6.91 out of 8. 6.91 ah. out of 8. Wow. Yeah. Well, I, I'm going to go with the 6.85. Not quite as much as he liked it, but boy, really close. Out of 8. The score did it for me. The score so. really was a little disconcerting to me. It's like, you got to stop playing music. That's it. We're That's back. it. We're back. <laughs> you can check us out at facebook.com slash stupid movies. still there. <laughs> or on Instagram at stupid movies. You can also check me out at the horror punk. I'm checking you out. Oh! <laughs> <Blue -blues. Woo! laughs> so until next week, I'm Adam Thayer. I'm Rob. Horror punk. See ya! <laughs> <laughs>